Say that towards the end. So I want to first announce our first band partnership. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, my God. Wicked Shimmy. So thank you all from Wicked Shimmy uh, for becoming a band partner with Springfield After Hours. And we cannot wait to, you know, do our thing with you guys. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> so um, I do also want to let everybody know with cherry bomb burlesque that we went to and that how much they raised for the food harvest that was our food harvest they want uh they got 161 dollars raised that equals to 644 meals yeah that's so great oh, so so great lots of people being fed um speaking of what Oh, we have a couple of our list people here. Oh, yay. Hi, people. We can't see you. At least I can't. <laughs> I can't see you either. I know, I'm like, it's all dark. Yeah. It's just darkness. I can see shapes. So um, I want to talk about what we did last week during, during our week. It was very busy. So we went, and on Thursday, we went to the DRM Productions Abduction with Ms. Cracker. Was yeah, you saw that. How was that, guys? You don't understand. Um, it was no, it was really incredible. It is one of the most professional shows that I personally have ever seen. And Ms. Cracker was well, number one, she is a uh, RuPaul's Drag Race season 10 fan favorite, and she is one of the nicest people. Um, got to meet her and take pictures with her, and just the whole cast and crew like it was. It was phenomenal, really. Like I, I, I don't have the words to describe it. It was that in, mind blowing. Well, if you want to see what that's all about, you could go on our Facebook page and our Instagram and see all the fabulous pictures that we posted and the video with any of these, all of these, any and all of these. Um, let's see. And then on Friday, we went to Papo's Pizza South and saw Randall Shreves, which was just amazing. So we got some really good pizza and listened to him play his solo set. He also has a band called the DeVilles. And, man, you need to see both. You need to see him as solo. You need to see him with his band. It's just amazing. Yeah, and the Queen tribute. If you ever get to catch one of those, oh, God. <laughs> I think my favorite quote of that interview was um, when we were talking about the Queen tribute. Yeah. And I was like, oh, so you do the makeup and the costumes and everything. It's like, oh, well, I always wear makeup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he always wears makeup. It's my favorite quote. I don't think I've ever seen him without guy liner. I know. I was, like, right next to him, and I was like, you have eyeshadow and eyeliner on. I dig it. <laughs> uh, and then later we went to Shuffle to see Patient Eyes out of Arkansas. Luna J and Euphoria Morning. And then Saturday, Anna. we went to the Flea for the Anna Versa Flea. <laughs> and that was really fun. Dunk Tanks, and we had a couple different bands playing. Uh, and went to Limburg's for the Cherry Bomb Burlesque Ruined Your Childhood. That was so much fun. And then finally, Archie's for Thrill Fall. So that was what we did this past week. It was always busy, but always, always, always so much fun. And so what are we doing this week? So Friday, we are going to Patton Alley Pub for Chase by Lions. And we're going to go see these lovely people right here for HCW at the front of house. And then Saturday, Tide and Timber for Feel Good Music Fest. Um, our guest a few weeks ago, Avert Your Eyes, is going to be playing there at 8.30. So please come out to see them. They're wonderful. Um, we're also going to go to Archie's to see our band partner, our <laughs> Wicked Shimmy. And then Monday, we are possibly, hopefully, going to see Lost Boys at the Alamo. Yeah, we are. Yes. At least yes. We <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Um, also, go ahead. Um, on Friday, um, I actually do have to work, but um, I will be here at 6.30, hopefully with some of my lovely Springfield After Hours family. 
um, to check out the Margins CD release party here at Lindbergh's, um, which we do have an article about that. It's going to be super fun. Um, and also, um, Wicked Shimmy is actually going to be a shuffle. Oh, shuffle. This weekend. It's a shuffle, not yeah, Archie's. Rock <gasps> yeah, Rockin it is for Rock a for the Cause. Yeah. Yeah, which I we have an article about that, too. Yeah, I usually see him at Archie's all the time. So. I know, me too. God. That's why when I see events, I'm like, what? What? <laughs> you play other places? You play other places. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to get to our questions for conversation starters at the bar. And I know you hadn't seen any of them yet, Lena, so this is going to be exciting. And you guys, please join in in answering them because they're fun. You betcha. <laughs> <laughs> um, the first question, if you had an entrance song, what would it be? What's New Pussycat? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to be really interesting because I'm a theater geek and it probably would be something from Heather's The Musical. I support that decision. Yeah, that's my jam. Yep. I get that. I'll go super obscure and say Grace by Devin Townsend. <laughs> Blake. Blake. Do you have one? Blake. Man of many words, Blake. Probably the 21st Century Fox theme. He's going <laughs> to double up on what's new Pussycat. <laughs> Do you guys got entrance songs? Are we talking like wrestling entrance? No, like you enter the bar and the song just comes on and everybody's like, oh, here's Lena, Lena's here. Um, okay. Well, if it was wrestling, I would say the Terminator theme. <laughs> um, but just walking into the bar, probably something by My Chemical Romance, mm. probably. I'm going to go basic beyond this and say Pretty Woman by Roy Orbison. I can do that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Uh, you're up. <laughs> Look at that shade Amy's throwing. I don't know. You don't know. I, I'm too oh, sexy. Come on. Yes, I'm too sexy. That's that's or, your no, song. No, 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 no. I fuck you by Lily Allen. <laughs> oh yes. That's straight that's up better. Patricia. That's yes. Patricia. Love that song and the fly. Yeah, I. <laughs> We have a full fly story. So somebody gave me this entrance song, and I've always used it for myself. And I'm like, okay, this is my answer. It's Foxy Lady yes. by Jimi Hendrix. Love yeah. that song. I can totally see that. So, okay, second question. How do you deal with distractions? I don't. <laughs> oh, my God, there's glitter on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> there is. I mean, there really is. Let's ask the other member of HTW with ADHD. How do you deal with distractions? <laughs> Meds. Meds. Lots of I can't afford those. <laughs> You're pretty chill. Yeah. I, I, I don't deal with distractions either. Uh, must be nice. Let them roll. <laughs> must be nice. Kevin, how do you deal with distractions? I don't handle them. <laughs> I mean, my whole life is a distraction, so... You just give them dirty looks. I do. I just, Word. Give, I just give them dirty looks and keep walking. <laughs> As for distractions, like, he literally has a Wicked Shimmy um, bracelet yes. on. We're so I literally just, like, just yep. got distracted. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys just fished. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. I think for me, I probably... Because um, I work so many jobs and do so many random ass things that I have to prioritize and whatever is most important comes first and I typically my phone is across the room and I don't answer it typically I know that's like a serious answer when everybody's joking but and you got distracted by the glass spill, yeah. didn't you <laughs> See, I'll call down. like I, I didn't I didn't think a thing about that <laughs> How do you deal with distractions, Amy? Uh, I don't. Distract everybody else. <laughs> she <too>. is a distraction. <laughs> but she's wonderful. <laughs> okay, third question. What is your favorite fall activity? Mm. Blood. Blood. <laughs> blood is an activity. Blood is not. For people, <laughs> for people that know me, Ooh. like blood play, like in haunted stuff, like that's a thing. Even like in. Yeah, <laughs> not <laughs> sacrificing people is your Trying favorite idea. <laughs> All right, well, clearly I'm not the freakiest person here. It's fine. Am I taking it? 
leggings, boots, scarves. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Solo season has begun. Yes. <laughs> Hashtag PSL. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I prefer the cold brew. <laughs> Blake? Every fall, I watch Hellraiser. All eight movies. At least oh. twice through. <laughs> so. Nice, nice. You guys got anything? Um, I think putting a fire in my fireplace. Oh, yes. Um, pudding. pudding. Just pudding. pudding. Just pudding. Just pudding. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like bonfires, bonfires with my friends, um, yes, s'mores and stuff, and of course all the wonderful trails we have around here, you know, they, there's, you know, the leaves oh, yeah. and everything, oh my goodness, what about you? Oh, you did, you did you? Yeah, I said fireplace. Fireplace, see, I didn't, even, sorry. Going my favorite through fall activity is my fireplace. birthday. Just fireplace is your activity. Yes. Well. Just put it on there. <laughs> well, again, we're here with HTW. And why don't you guys introduce yourselves? <laughs> and what, what do you play? What do you play? Uh, I'm Kevin. I play guitar for the band. I'm Cooper. I play the bass and I wear the hats. Hi, I'm Shelby, and I'm the singer. Blake and drums. So your band, um, HTW, what does it stand for, and why? You know, it, it's somewhat of a, a local mystery. As shows go by, we kind of go by different variations of it. We've been bestowed some gifts. Mm -hmm. uh, Baden gave us a hot teacher womb, was that one? There's a hot teacher wife. Hot trophy wife, we had that going on. So, dependent on our situation, it kind of, you know, it shapes a little bit. <laughs> Isn't though? Doesn't it really stand for high tension wire? If I no. <laughs> How could you ever assume that? <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was telling them earlier when we were um, talking about your show that I actually, how I remember it, is by the Blue Oyster Cult song Godzilla. This what? must have been before I joined the band. Oh. Okay. That's the local mystery. Oh. I like it. Oh. It's all a mystery they don't want to tell. Nobody knows. They don't so, actually know. By the way, Randy Ayers is blowing up the chat. He's the only one watching. But, uh, hey, Randy. Randy. Woo, hello. Says, Welcome uh, for joining us. A couple things. Uh, Sub Durka. Um, but he wants to hear an Alice Cooper. You guys do an Alice Cooper song. That's not the first time we've been What is that, that song? Which one? What, what? I don't even. I was playing guitar at that time, so I don't even know that song. Sorry, Randy. I guess you need to Roses put that in your set. Roses on white lace. Yeah, you guys oh, need to put that in. Right. Right. We did do an Alice Cooper song. I could probably <laughs> figure it out on bass. I forgot about that. That's been a hot second. That's a good song, though. I'd love to hear that. We should do that again. Oh, I'm sorry, Cooper. Thank you. <laughs> it feels lonely without the mic. Yeah. It's my safety blanket. <laughs> so really, I mean, how did you come up with, finalize on the, the letters? <laughs> I mean, how did you come up with your name? Did, what other names did you come up with for the band? Uh, it it kind of started out as, officially it actually came from one of the first albums I ever personally bought. Hint. Um, and from that point on, it kind of meant something between the connections of how uh, much guitar work and stuff that wound up going into the music and then connecting over even into like vocals and stuff like that. So yeah, it kind of has a personal meaning and you know, one day mm -hmm. it may fully be out there. It may already be out there. Who knows? Some people know what it means. <laughs> Dominique knows what it means. <laughs> Why did you look at me? <laughs> <laughs> he just like throws shade my way. I'm like, I might die tonight, guys. <laughs> so how long have you guys been a band? I know you're new. <laughs> so we technically... I'm sorry. Let me pull it It's not your fault. It's not your fault, though. It's really not. It's actually been a year for me now. Well, yeah. It's been a year. 
So we technically started the band in 2017 with Kevin, me, and Blake. And at that time, we had Mackenzie in the band. Mm -hmm. And then we added Cooper on guitar, and Mackenzie said her farewell, and then Cooper now plays bass. So technically, as this lineup, it's only been like six months, seven, eight, eight months. We'll go with eight. Eight sounds like a good number. I think. What venue? So nine months. What, what venue was your first show? Huh? What venue was your first show? Uh, front of house. Yep. Front of house, for front sure. Of house. That's where I'm next. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah, where we'll got, be this weekend. This questions. weekend. I feel like Mini we Pearl right here. Have we? Once we did an instrumental show there. That's right. Yeah. That's when I had bronchitis. <laughs> that was fun. So what kind of music do you guys play? Bad Say that again. Music. Say that again. Oh. What kind of music do you guys play? <laughs> Progressive hard rock. So, well. So technically, the full term is prog rock musical theater fusion band. That's I've been the calling whole it rock word opera. vomit of our genre. I've been calling it rock opera. Rock opera, that works too. <laughs> yeah, that's, Which that's totally explains opera. your answer to Heather's earlier yes, as I'm well. A, I'm, a theater, I'm a theater major, musical theater. Blake, do you have anything to add? <laughs> so would you say no, Heather's is your favorite? I just have to ask. No. Hey, what's your favorite? Oh, God, that's hard. So favorite is probably between Ragtime and Memphis because I just love the music and I love blues music. So that was really cool that somebody from Bon Jovi actually wrote a whole musical. So that's nice. really cool. But yeah, but Heather's is like my all time. I'm with my best friend. She's out there. Yeah. Anyway, that's, that's my jam. JD is really cool. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> So, um, what other what other gigs do you have coming up besides the one that we're going to be? Uh, after this now? one, we've got. Let's see. She's the schedule keeper. Well, I should have sat in the front. I didn't think I would talk, and here I am vomiting. Um, so we're playing this weekend, and then we're moving into October. Gosh, we have a show in October. Thanks, Madison. <laughs> We're at front of house again. We're playing front of house like three or four times the rest of this year. And then we're playing the ballroom on November 1st with Death May Die and Accept the, f oh my gosh, I'm botching it. Accepting the fall. Oh my gosh. And then. I love whoever is that voice in the audience right now. That's, that's our, that's our band mom. That's, that's band mom right oh, there. Oh, band mom. Yay. It's God. But then. <laughs> it's God. <laughs> But after that, we, I'm actually having surgery, so the boys are going to play a couple um, a, all instrumental shows while I recover. Wow, so that's exciting. What, how really, are you going to really, name really, that since I, it's not gosh, you in it? No, you. We're actually going to be a whole new band. We're called The Boys. <laughs> <laughs> We're back in town, baby. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to play an instrumental show. It's going to be pretty sick. I'm going to get a lot of bass solos. And if I don't get a lot of bass solos, I'm still going to play a lot of bass solos. <laughs> Whether they like it or not. It, absolutely. <laughs> well, you girls have any other questions for them? I think I just really want to hear yeah, them. Yeah, I really want to hear them too. But yeah. really fast, if they, anybody wants to find you, book you, where do they go? <laughs> Facebook.com slash HTW Music. You can message us there and we'll be happy to set something up. Yeah, it's in there somewhere. But it's all linked up on Facebook. Check us out there. Like us. Hit us on Napster, bro. We have an album out. It's on Spotify's. All the digitals, every everything. We're even on TikTok. <laughs> 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 And I do want to mention that they're doing a little different set than they normally do because it's acoustic. Yeah. This, this is going to be so, really cool. I've never yeah, seen so this. Yeah, so tonight being acoustic, we are hide the wires, you know. Hide the so We're going unplugged, so that's going to work. So, so is that why you're wearing Hawaiian shirts? Because when we sat down before we, like, went live, he was like, yeah, we're all wearing Hawaiian shirts. I have an umbrella in my drink. I have my beach hat. Fanny pack. Fanny oh, yeah. pack, yeah. you got to embrace those last few moments of summer. 
<laughs> I'm also in a band called Surf Wax. <laughs> We play tropical music. Check us out <laughs> at Surf Wax Band. Okay. Somebody take this shit. That's why we're dressed like this. That's where we're going after this is watch one of his shows. Oh, uh, where is that? Where is that? <laughs> Nowhere. Oh, just no? Kidding. No? I was like, what? Where is it? His okay. bedroom, probably. He just played exactly. his bedroom. His bedroom. <laughs> nah, we just played at the Riff. The it was pretty cool. Well, cool. Well, thanks, guys, for being on the show. We're really excited to hear what you have for us. We're going to move these chairs out of the way, and you can start your thing. Thank you. So this, uh, do the court first. So, uh... All of our songs that we write are going to be uh, concept-based. We're a very concept-driven band. Um, this first song, ooh. This first song here is called The Court. Ooh, Kevin. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Blame it, Kevin. <laughs> Ready? Hey, what are you doing? Get your hands off of me. Hey, can't you see I'm someone who has been grieving? These accusations have no meaning. Wait, please hold down. My head is reeling. What you are saying doesn't make any sense. Don't you understand? I don't need repentance. This court is new and lies. You got it all wrong. Just look into my eyes and let me go home. They say that you say only make it you see him my way and lead me to hurt But in my mind flashes appear Way was he actually in impossible to bear this cold is messing with my mind you got it all wrong you're changing me with lies just let me go home they say is that you say only make it worse i'll stick to my own way because what you say it hurts here they come broken memories oh god no was it me You caught me in a fly when you took me 
from my home You have to believe it wasn't really me Who I would ever be to go believe Until I remember a little thrill Cause I began to ride back over the hill oh, Well, I take it back No, no Nice. This uh, next one that we're going to do, which is our last one, um, this is the first song we actually wrote as a band together. Um, it is actually all based around a comic book villain which makes it a very interesting story. This is called Watch the World Burn. What have I got to live for now that everything's gone? The world seems so much interesting now. What's the point of going on? My mind's in a haze And I'm standing on the edge All I gotta do is Jump and see what's up Nothing I've ever felt Wish I Yeah. 
so serious. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Yeah, absolutely. And we will see you guys on Saturday at Turner House. Friday. 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 See, I cannot get my day straight. <laughs> I am so sorry. It's I, all good. I, I apologize. Friday, front of house. HTW. You don't want to miss it. Doors open. Nine o'clock? Yes. Oh, sorry, nine. Nine thirty okay. ish. Nine thirty. Doors at nine, nine thirty, you go on ish. Yep. Right? We're going on second, so probably around ten thirty ish. Yes, they're amazing. Yeah.